now on, the, on his elbow. Yeah. And so she took him to the pediatrician who prescribed uh, probi- or antibiotic. He yeah. said it is a staph infection that's in his body and he's had it for You were just so trying long. to make me mad? You're just trying to get yeah, me angry know, here? I, I mean, know. What What's and, the point here? And he needs to have this antibiotic to get what, this. What do you tell him? really go for his system. He's on the antibiotic. What you, he uh, had two more outbreaks, two more come up since he's been on the antibiotic. And what now, are you trying to do? Raise my blood pressure I, here, Nancy? I, What's your, it's not me, believe me. It's, no, it's, I mean, I don't so care. Hard. This I is know. stupidity, but uh, hang on, Nancy. This is but, stupidity of the highest degree, and I don't know what else I can say about it. You're, he's already got a digestive problem. Now you're killing off his bacteria even worse, and he gets more problems. So yes. where, where does it, is the pediatrician like a wizard? Where do we get the idea that the pediatrician knows anything? Yes. Where does this come from? Because well, they told us? Oh, we know stuff. So obviously he doesn't. I don't know what else to tell you. If he's on antibiotics, he needs probiotics even more. So when he's done with his antibiotics. Double dose it. Double dose, absolutely. Double dose And also fermented foods, but not with the antibiotics because the antibiotics will kill the probiotics. Sure. So you've got to give it a break. Yes. Okay. And I know that that can become resistant. The staff of course. Is the resistant of course bacteria. it can become resistant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's craziness. Know. It's craziness, Nancy, I know. I'm telling you. Okay. And she gets scared and they, you well, know, they, just, I can't, they play you know, on your fear. Fear is never your friend under any circumstances. False evidence appearing real. Take action. You don't have to be scared. When you take action, you eliminate fear. All right, I got to go, Nancy. Thanks for your call. Thank you. Okay, take care. Okay, Carolina, Washington, what is up? Hi. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about iodine, but I, I wanted clarification on why you thought um, gluten was a problem with grains when I've been reading so much about glyph- glyphosate. They're all problems. <laughs> They're all problems. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what you're asking me. What do you mean? Tell me what your question is. Because gluten uh, is a problem. The They're both problems. Well, you, I don't think you mentioned it, did you? I didn't mention glyphosate, no. Uh, glyphosate yeah, is a nasty, nasty, nasty fertilizer substance. And it's, it is true. It's on all crops, not just grains. Look, what are you going to do, Caroline? We have really mucked up our system. And just because oh, it's know. organic doesn't mean there's no glyphosate there either because it's in the water supply. And it's in the ground, for that matter. So it's everywhere. Oh, we're, okay. we're the dumbest species on planet Earth. Look at look what we do. We crap well, in our water and then drink it. So, it's called population control. But anyway, yes. um, I had been having uh, taking... Um, thyroid over the years. It's a nature throid from a nature path. Okay, is it glandular? It has never helped me over the years. Well, let me tell you about that. You want to talk about that real quick? About thyroid? Or you have a question? Well, I quit specific? taking it. <laughs> okay, well, you're smart. Here's the thing about thyroid, and, and even naturopaths fall for this baloney. If you have a thyroid problem and you take a glandular, what you'll be doing is you'll be replacing the hormones, but you're not going to be fixing your thyroid. Do you see what I'm saying? The logic is, well, oh, well, the thyroid's not working, so we'll give hormones to imitate it. Well, that's not, that doesn't help. Your thyroid is still sick. You see what I'm saying? We're not helping the thyroid. We're just imitating the hormones. Well, I agree. It didn't help a bit. It doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, though, is my point. Of course it doesn't help. You're experiencing the utter impotency of this, these ideas as a patient. But then I want us to take a step back and say, why would we even think it would work? Synthroid, which is one of the best-selling, maybe er, periodically it's the best-selling drug in America, not just Synthroid, but thyroid medication in general. So obviously we, we got a problem. And pharmacists will all tell you that it is notoriously ineffective. The dose has to change. They probably change. If you're on, uh, it doesn't sound like you're on Synthroid, but when people are on these kinds of drugs, they have to keep manipulating the dose because you're not doing anything for the thyroid. You're just trying to imitate the hormones. What you want to do if you have a thyroid problem, hypothyroidism, is you want to do two things. Number one is you need to calm the body down. The thyroid goes hypo or low performing when the adrenals are hyped up. The second thing is you got to fix work on food because a lot of hypothyroidism is autoimmune. So between food and relaxing the body, Caroline, you have your major strategies for dealing with, uh, for dealing with thyroid issue, okay? So if you have uh, your hypothyroid, correct? Yes. Okay. So chances are good that you're dealing with Hashimoto's. Did they mention that to you? Uh, they thought it wasn't bad enough to call it that. Well, okay, whatever. It's an autoimmune issue. <laughs> whatever, bad enough or good enough, it's still an autoimmune issue. Autoimmune, whenever you hear the word immune in a disease, and autoimmune obviously counts, you're looking at a digestive problem. I'm not just saying that because I'm a food Nazi or I'm some kind of health nut. I'm saying it just because it's chemistry. Immune system is located in the digestive tract. So right. if you have an immune problem, by definition, you have an 
a digestive problem. Does that make sense, Caroline? Right. So focus on foods, elimination diet, uh, all the things we just talked about, elimination diet, probiotics, digestive enzymes. I know I repeat myself, but these are all fundamental ideas for everything. And then the second thing you want to do, Caroline, is calm the body down. Uh, 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 hypothyroidism typically will follow hyper, too much, adrenalism. That's your stress gland. So calming the body down. This is why women, by the way, after menopause are at high risk for hypothyroidism because their adrenals are frying. Why? Because they're off making, they're, they don't have enough cholesterol and the adrenals are trying to handle the entire system, the, the stress of, of, uh, of menopause. And now the thyroid starts to slow down when the adrenals are freaking out. So work well, on the adrenal. Nascent, iodine? Some, I bought some nascent iodine and I've been taking three drops a day. That's Hopefully cute. that'd help that mm -hmm. and my dry mouth at night. Well, that's cute, but that's not the, that's not the answer. You need iodine. Really? I'm not saying, I, yeah, it's, it's, you need iodine. I'm not marginalizing or dismissing the importance of iodine. It's vitally important. But it's not a magic remedy for the thyroid. You've got to work on the immune system, which is the digestive system, and you've got to calm the body down. Caroline, call me tomorrow. We'll finish up if you like. I've got to go. That's the end of the program. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back at you tomorrow on the Bright Side. Take care. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye for now.